Chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also stand here today in the well of the House, Mr. Speaker, to announce my solidarity for justice, my solidarity with the Muslim community for justice, for justice, because I understand what it's like to be a part of a community that is treated unjustly. I lived through segregation in the United States of America. I know what it's like to go to the back door. I know what it's like to drink from filthy colored water fountains. I know what injustice looks like. I've seen its face. I know what it smells like. I've been in waiting rooms where only blacks could sit and they were for blacks only because there were other places for others. So I don't want to see anything like that, similar to that, anything that's remotely similar occur to someone else. So I'm standing here today in solidarity with the Muslim community because of the injustice that's being perpetrated against Islam. I am a Christian. My grandfather was a Christian minister. But I stand here to support Islam today, one of the great religions of the world. And I do this, Mr. Speaker, because to demean Islam by adding the word terrorist with it is an injustice to the religion. Islam is a peaceful religion. No religion condones the taking of innocent lives intentionally. Let me repeat this. No religion condones taking the innocence of the lives of innocent persons intentionally. This is why I'm here, because I want to make it clear that Islam does not condone this. We should not be talking about Islamic terrorists. Why not call them what they are? People who commit dastardly deeds, and if you do it in the name of a religion, that doesn't make what you do a part of the religion. And people ought not be found guilty by their affiliation with a religion. What these people are doing is evil, and we ought to call it such. It is not Islam, and we ought not as a result, decide that we are going to bar all members of the Islamic faith from this country. That would be wrong, Mr. Speaker. To even consider doing it is something that I find repugnant. And we ought not do this to a great religion. I stand for justice, and I stand for justice for the Islamic faith.